we've got a system of schooling which gives a completely different impression. It's all graded. And what we do is we put the child into the corridor of this grade system with a kind of, come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. And yeah, you go to kindergarten, you know. And that's a great thing because when you finish that, you'll get into first grade. And then come on, first grade leads to second grade and so on. And then you get out of grade school, you've got high school and it's revving up. The thing is coming. Then you're going to go to college. And by Joe, then you get into graduate school. And when you're through with graduate school, you go out to join the world. And then you get into some racket where you're selling insurance. And they've got that quota to make. And you're going to make that. And all the time, the thing is coming. It's coming. It's coming. That great thing, the, the success you're working for. Then when you wake up one day about 40 years old, you say, my God, I've arrived. <laughs> I'm there. And you don't feel very different from what you always felt. And there's a slight letdown because you feel there's a hoax. And there was a hoax, a dreadful hoax. They made you miss everything by expectation. Look at the people who live to retire and put those savings away. And then when they're 65, they don't have any energy left. They're more or less impotent. And uh, they go and rot in an old people's senior citizens community. <laughs> because we've simply cheated ourselves the whole way down the line. <coughs> we thought of life by analogy with a journey, with a pilgrimage, which had a serious purpose at the end. And the thing was to get to that end, success or whatever it is, or maybe heaven after you're dead. But we missed the point the whole way along. It was a musical thing and you were supposed to sing or to dance while the music was being played. But it's reality. Well, dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. Let me ask you a question. You never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I guess, yeah. So how did we end up here? Well, we just came from the, uh... Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming. You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in chair dreaming. then we start to see reality in a different way. This is a wonderful quote. You were born an original, don't die a copy. So many people do that. They go through their lives thinking the norm in society is the only possible perception of reality. And because the majority appear to believe it, therefore by definition it must be true. Truth does not change because it is or is not believed by the majority of the people. As Gandhi said, even if you are in a minority of one, the truth is still the truth. Or as this proverb says, the multitude is always wrong. And invariably, when you look through what we call history, it turns out that way. It is the people who have challenged that that have moved us forward in terms of our understanding of who we are and the nature of the world we live in. It had something to do with um, something to do with a, a, a safe. God, my sorry, we were You know, I, I have this thing. I just mentioned it a few minutes ago. When you you go, we get so close to things, and and therefore they become so normal that we never question them. Take a deep breath. Take a step back. It again. Traveling through space, through our galaxy, and discovering cultures who had reached advanced maturity um, that had actually destroyed themselves because they lost their original intent. And I believe that the original intent is learning to totally and unconditionally not only love oneself, but love all. When you lose focus of that, things just begin to disintegrate. I don't understand why you have to pay to live on a planet you were born on. 
And then, I mean, it's such a simple question, and it's haunted me ever since. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Ask yourself that question. Why do we have to pay to live on a planet we were born on? And who are we actually paying for the privilege of being alive here? Who made them the boss? Who put them in charge? You know? Think about that.